Hello, coders. Welcome to episode 162 of the How to Code Well podcast. I'm going to keep this nice and short today because I have a little bit of a cold, haven't been to the gym for a while, and uh, I'll probably be tucked up in bed by the time this goes out on Thursday, the 23rd of June. So today I want to talk about why I would like to learn TypeScript and what this means to my career, the decisions of the, the career choices of TypeScript and what does this mean as a PHP dev. Before we do get into that, let's talk about uh, the changelog very quickly. So we are well within the deployment phase of the staging site for howtocodewell.net. And I am happy to report that we have a Kubernetes cluster built using Terraform that has uh, the Docker images flowing around in the containers on the on the Kubernetes pods. We have a, a database that's outside of the cluster. We have firewalls. We've got object storage. It is coming together quite nicely. It's like Lego being put together. And so far, so good. I do think this is going to take quite a long time for me to actually flesh out and, and actually build the final thing uh, before you even consider getting up to production. So I'm probably looking at another couple of months. I can already see a few scripts that I, I need to write in terms of the database, uh, other other things, like admin-y kind of stuff for the site. And bringing everything together, I'm using Ansible, Terraform, Kubernetes, Bash, a load of scripts to do all the fun stuff. So that's coming on really, really well. Okay, so let's talk about TypeScript for a minute. Why do I want to learn TypeScript? I've learned I've learned all sorts of languages in my 20 plus career <clears throat> or, or professional sort of Cody type stuff. Uh, for instance, PHP is my go-to. Um, I use PHP every day and I am specializing at the moment in upgrading applications from one PHP version to the next. I know Python, for instance. I know, obviously, Docker, Terraform, Ansible, what I've just mentioned, the devops kind of stuff. I obviously know JavaScript, and I've been doing JavaScript since the very early days uh, of Netscape Navigator. And I know a couple of other languages, ActionScript, which is like a spin-off of, of, of JavaScript back in the day, just doesn't really exist now. And then Java and Perl, although I kind of run to the hills whenever someone asks me to do any Java and Perl kind of work. To be fair, I don't really particularly enjoy those languages. So why am I choosing TypeScript? TypeScript is a subset of JavaScript. It's not actually a, a, a language as such. It applies all sorts of lovely rules to JavaScript, one of which is type safety. And from a, from a contractor's point of view, from a business point of view, from someone who is looking at their career and wanting to keep ahead of the curve, I've seen a couple of things in the TypeScript world uh, in terms of uh, employment and stuff that I, I wouldn't mind sort of tapping into in the future. So I've seen more demand for TypeScript jobs over JavaScript jobs, right? So there's when you when you have a look at these uh, these job specs, there's less JavaScript stuff requirements and there's more TypeScript requirements and Node requirements. I haven't seen any demand for Flow, right? And I know Flow, so for some silly reason I decided to learn Flow. I think it's because I always try and. F pick the underdog, right? So Flow is the Facebook alternative to TypeScript. TypeScript obviously made by, by Microsoft. And I, I personally think that TypeScript has won the battle, right? Type safety is really important. And I've seen developers in the PHP land uh, use type, type safety for the, in their first, you know, their first experience of type safety was through the PHP transition from, you know, PHP five to seven and eight. And so they've, they've, they've learned type safety through those upgrades. And I've seen developers, PHP developers jump from PHP to types TypeScript because they've, they, they now understand the type safety uh, importance of having that. And they, 
like that. They like having type safety and all the other things that TypeScript has on offer. And it's, it's one of those skills that is very transferable, right? Once you understand type safety and the, the pros and cons, you can then start looking at other languages that use type safety and you'll be able to appreciate why they're done and structured in such a way. Um, and you'll be able to look out for things as you do your pipeline fear. <laughs> Apologies for my voice. It's starting to go. <clears throat> So yes, type TypeScript is really good, and I've seen a I've seen a bit of a sea change um, with TypeScript. Like I said, the demand for jobs is getting uh, is is ramping up, um, and also type safety. Sorry, TypeScript <laughs> TypeScript works very well with Node, right? Which means that you can run it on the back end. So you can run TypeScript and Node or Node with TypeScript on the back end. And I would, before TypeScript came about, I would not consider using JavaScript on the back end whatsoever because, you know, I knew that what type safety was and the, 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 when you've got a, J a JavaScript language that is so flexible, it's very prone to errors. So I wouldn't have any of that on the back end. And now I know a lot of people would probably consider that's a little bit OTT. But in my view, I would prefer to have type safety and the other things that TypeScript offer when I'm using JavaScript on the back end. You know, to even consider using JavaScript on the back end, they would need to have that element of safety. So the fact that it can be ran on the back end is really appealing to me as a as a primarily a, a back end developer. But also, TypeScript can run with React Native, right? Which means that I'm I'm not abandoning the world of mobile applications. I, when I started out, um, when I started out as a freelancer, so I was a I was a PHP developer uh, full time for a while, for many years, and then I went to freelance. And whilst I was freelance, um, I was building applications using uh, JavaScript using Titanium. And also, actually, yeah, in a in a previous in a previous role as a full time dev, I was also using um, Accelerator, which is Titanium, uh, or it was back then. I don't know if it is now. So anyway, I have experience with building mobile applications, getting them onto the iOS store, and also putting them on the Android Play Store. And we were using JavaScript for that. So I I'm kind of wanting to scratch an itch uh, with building mobile apps in the future. And I think this is going to be a really sought after skill for mobile application developers who know TypeScript, right? Mobile applications developers who are already playing in the sandpit of cross-platform applications, right? Or hybrid applications or whatever you want to call them, who know how to build these things using uh, JavaScript-based frameworks if they don't know TypeScript, then they may f be left behind in the future. And so I want to learn TypeScript for, for that reason. That is just one of the reasons why I want to learn TypeScript is because if there was a client in the future who wants a mobile application, they'll probably want to have that with TypeScript. And that, Or if they've come to me to recommend the language and it needs to have tick the, the, tick the cross-platform boxes, I would then probably say React Native with TypeScript, right? Um, so there is a bigger de demand as well. This is another niche market that I've noticed. And there is a demand for converting JavaScript applications, so websites with JavaScript on the front end. There is a demand for those websites to be converted from JavaScript, vanilla JavaScript, into TypeScript. <laughs> So, you know, I can already see a pocket of work being open there. And I think really with my business hat on, if I'm thinking of what's going to happen in the next, say, five to 10 years, I think learning, still learning PHP is obviously a good win because PHP is just getting better and better and better. PHP 8 
comes along, you know, PHP 9 comes along, brilliant, all these good things. And there's still a lot of work out there to upgrade from PHP 5 to 7 to 8 and so on and so forth. That work won't go away, right? That's still there and I, I'm really happy that that is there. I enjoy doing that. I enjoy doing the investigation of legacy applications or brownfill applications and then upgrading them up to the latest versions. And I think this is also going to happen for JavaScript. So upgrading legacy JavaScript applications, be it node applications on the back end, be it JavaScript mobile applications, as in, um, you know, mobile phone apps, as I've, as I've mentioned, or be it just JavaScript on the front end, there's going to be a demand to upgrade from JavaScript to TypeScript. And I wouldn't mind getting a piece of that pie. Now, I, I'm, I'm kind of thinking uh, that this will all happen in a good few years time. So I'm kind of seeing this as something that's slowly evolving. It's not like happening straight away, right? I have seen a few job jobs where this is a requirement to know TypeScript because the spec is an upgrade job. However, I think in say three to five years time, there's going to be more of that. And of course, knowing type, not knowing TypeScript until then is too late. <laughs> so you want to have TypeScript um, under your belt, a feather in your cap right now, in my opinion. So let's talk about why I, I would like to learn TypeScript over other programming languages, because, hey, there's, there's so many out there, so many other programming languages. Um, TypeScript is a subset of JavaScript. I know it's not a programming language, but you know what I mean. So why do I want to learn TypeScript instead of, say, uh, Go or instead of, say, Rust? Now, pretty much for the reasons that I've already outlined, TypeScript opens all sorts of doors, allows you to walk into various different um, uh, forks in the road, if you will, right? So mobile applications, server-sided applications, front-end, right? All of those kind of things. Whereas in my opinion, Go and Rust, as great as they are, they're very niche right now. And I think they'll still be niche. And the, the, the places that I work at, don't need the specifications and the efficiency wins of, say, Go and Rust. And things like PHP and Python outpace them in terms of effectiveness of rapidly developing an application, in my opinion, because, but just based on the applications that I build right now um, and have built over the many years of having this web career, um, things like Composer is a must, right? Things like NPM is a, is a must. Things like Docker is a, is a must, right? These are the staples of web development. And I don't, and I see that less for things like Rust and I see that less for Go. And I do know you can build websites with those things, but really, if you're going to build a website, you wouldn't be doing it in Go. <laughs> you would be looking at PHP and you'd be looking at Python or you'll be looking at JavaScript stroke TypeScript. So that's why I will be doing uh, less Rust and less Go. Um, I have played with them before. It doesn't particularly interest me at this present second. So that's why I'm focusing on TypeScript. Now, will there ever be TypeScript courses on howtocodewell.net? Yes, there will be, but I want to actually get fluent in TypeScript myself. And I, I, I don't think it's going to take too long. I'm probably going to give myself like a year to just get to know it really, really well. Um, because like I said, it's a subset of JavaScript. So it's not like you're learning something completely fresh. And because I've come from PHP and Python, I already know TypeScripting, right? I already know the benefits of that and why it's needed. That's one of the reasons why I'm learning TypeScript. Because I wouldn't... I essentially, I don't think I would ever use JavaScript like um, fresh ever again without it. That's how confident I am with TypeScript right now. Anyway, that's my view. I am starting to lose my voice. So let me know what you think. If, uh, if you think that TypeScript is a good area to learn, then let me know. If you're learning it already, if you've got some resources that you want to uh, push my way, then uh, do let me know as well because I'm always looking for good tutorials and resources to learn myself, 
you know, we are always learning new stuff. Uh, excuse me. Right. I'm off. Happy coding, everyone. Take care and I'll see you again next week. Cheers. Bye bye.